no, this video is not clickbait. Whenever I say you can now solo Ganon, I 100% mean it. And let me say, this solo is a legitimate solo. A lot of people, whenever they say solo in Grand Summoners, they refer to only one unit mainly doing the damage, but they still need other units on the team in order to supply that unit with enough archgen or enough buffs or whatever. And that is not the case for this solo. This solo only takes a singular unit, one unit against Ganon. And what unit am I talking about? What is the unit in question? It's Malim. We knew this character was broken. We knew this character was busted with these buffs, but I don't think any of us understood how crazy she would actually become. And you may be like, how is that even possible? How is she able to solo it by herself? Even some of the best characters in the game are not able to solo this. Like for example, some of the best tanks in the game, Thetis, Volti LR, Miranda. These characters all need support in order for them to actually fully tank even a hit against Ganon sometimes, but Malim doesn't need any of that. With her reflect and her, the lifesteal that you can provide her with equips, it gives her enough juice to be able to take on Ganon no problem. Which is exactly what we are going to do in this video today. We are going to take Malim and actually try to solo Ganon ourselves. This wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. You couldn't just go into it and expect no kind of resistance with Ganon. You kind of have to be a little bit smart with it in terms of your art usage, which is the most important thing about this because the thing that's going to be keeping you alive throughout this entire fight is going to be your reflect. If you don't have your reflect up, then you kind of just die and you will have no type of self-sustain in your kit really apart from your passive, which the passive that I'm referring to is the fighter spirit. Whenever you take 10% of your max HP as damage, you give yourself five arcage instantaneously. But in terms of the overall strategy, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you always have total reflection on and as long as it's on, you're going to be vibing. But in order to really refine the strategy and make it work, even against some of Ganon's toughest attacks, we have to have some equipment to compliment Malim. True Exceed Zex is an amazing equip for this because it gives us 3% life still when near death, which means we don't die. <laughs> Literally, as long as total reflection is on us and we are near death with True Exceed Zex, we will not die. To be honest, we'll never die. It doesn't matter what Ganon throws out at us, we won't die. We need something that provides us lots of archgen, so that's the reason why I opted in for True EX Gate here. You can opt in for other single target support items. I actually saw Sato, he used Thin Santa Doll, if I'm not mistaken, which is a pretty potent single target archgen item. But I'm pretty sure you could do this also with like maybe Swashbuckling Fin. And I've even seen people do this with the mask from the Tensura event. That one, I feel like won't be as consistent because it doesn't last as long and it doesn't give you as much arc gauge as True X Gate, but it does have a lower cooldown, which is a huge plus. Also, it's an EV equip. So if you get some good passives on it, it may be a little bit better in terms of the clear time. And as far as the four star physical, I will say I did try this out with B3 Claw and it killed me. <laughs> it looked like I was doing okay. And then I had no HP and I decided to use it and I died. <laughs> so instead, I just went with the Rivi floating mattress. This is just a regular old attack buff for four star physical. I think you could also opt into just a lot of different things in the four star physical here. Maybe something that's a solid EV equip or something that gives you some archgen or some attack, some damage, whatever the case may be. Another thing that you can do here is actually use Goblin Slayer Dagger and use a different type of archgen item for the five star magic. Because with True Exceed Zex, the main negative here is that since we're at low HP, we actually don't get the benefit from the archgening. So because of that, we're kind of lacking a little bit and we're solely relying on our passive, our art generation from our normal art, and true ex gate but instead we have something like victor's cat suit that isn't tied to hp if i'm not mistaken is it tied to hp i don't think so that would just give us a constant like 30 arc gauge no matter what even though we're at low hp so that may be a little bit more beneficial for you if you want to do something like that and you have the goblin slayer dagger with the lifesteal passive on it just know that lifesteal that you're going to be gaining isn't going to be as much as it would be with true exceed zex then after that the fight is easy just make sure that you have the reflect up and you're golden now i have some things that i want to say about this apart from just you know watching us absolutely destroy Ganon in the background. I myself knew one day this would happen, where there would be a unit that would come out that would allow us to solo some of the hardest content in the game. However, I didn't expect it to come with Malim. I expected it to come during the Super Awoken era. Even characters like War God Finn can't technically solo like this. Like this is literally a single unit clear, a legitimate true solo. So it's crazy that Malim is a character that's actually doing this for the first time we're seeing this happen. Even Duran can't do this because he doesn't have the slots to do it. And I know for a lot of people, this may seem extremely broken. Like what are they doing to the balance of the game? How is this even possible for a singular unit to be able to conquer something like Ganon? But I'm gonna tell you why this works so well and why this won't necessarily work against other bosses. Ganon 
actually does not have any type of reduction in lifesteal. If you load up into any other fight, like for example against Emmy, you will see that it will say lifesteal reduction, meaning that even if you have a lifesteal passive on your character, you just won't lifesteal as much as you would against a fight that doesn't have lifesteal reduction. Because I'm almost positive whenever they have lifesteal reduction, that is the thing that guts this strategy completely. Since for some reason whenever that happens, characters become killable <laughs> instead of being unkillable like as you see here. It's just so weird to me because I actually was under the impression that Ganon had lifesteal reduction. But after playing the event and even double checking some guides, nothing ever said that he did. Which I guess was just me getting used to the newer difficulty that Grand Summoners has kind of imposed onto the game in recent years. Even with that being said, this is still very impressive. This unit's really broken. If you've never full cleared Ganon and you have these equips, hey, go in there, knock yourself out. It's very simple to do, extremely easy, and you don't have to worry about anything, which means like those Ganon videos and that Ganon guide that I made all those years ago almost feels kind of useless <laughs> now. Because if you have Malim, who cares about reading? Just take Malim into it, keep popping your art, and you're gonna be vibing. One question that this has brought up though is do I think Malim is going to be nerfed? And to that I say no. If you guys don't know, whenever Duran first got awoken on JP, they actually did issue a nerf to him because his reflect was way too potent, like way too strong. Duran was able to reflect nuke pretty much every boss in the game, no matter what. Like even on like normal attacks, if I'm not mistaken, Duran just almost one shot at those bosses. But I don't think the same will be said here for Malim. For one, she's a crossover unit. It, so she's not available all the time so she has some exclusivity to her and this kind of makes her more unique in having and may make some people want her even more but not only just that it's not necessarily that her reflect is broken it's more so the duration of the reflect is what's so crazy and the fact that life steal is the way it is in grand summoners there's multiple factors at play so yeah that's pretty much all i have to say about this character and this entire ordeal i guess if you guys find anything else you can solo let me know down below in the comment section or you know post it on youtube share it with everybody else because these buffs from a limb are even crazier than what i initially expected i knew this reflect buff was going to be massive but I didn't think it was going to be this massive. But either way, though, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, highly recommend you check out either one of the videos popping on the screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you'll love them. And oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.